Well, hello there, friends. Stag here. This painting is titled Solitude, and is the seventh installment to the Fertile Soils series. One of the most enjoyable feelings is when a painting works out just as it is supposed to. This is not one of those paintings. So I do a lot of underpainting. I like to start with a lot of darker layers sometimes and then work my way down through the values. It would have worked here if I didn't make my biggest mistake. Absolutely. I had no plan. Absolutely none. I decided to do one of the girls displanted from the normal forest scene and uh, decided to put like crystals in a cave setting. What I did not plan was the color at all. I did not keep anything in mind. It's like I did, but I didn't. I knew I wanted something cool. I toyed with the thought of a moon in a more complex setting before arriving at the cave. But I never again gave another thought to color. I didn't want the cave to be outrageously dark. I knew I wanted this to be an overall lighter painting. I feel like in my mind I would have preferred a more opal-like setting and probably where I wanted to go. I would probably have started the underpainting off a lot lighter and then build the dark on top of it then. But it started getting really weird for me when I started adding like a yellow and a pink and I'm just like, I don't, I don't want this, I don't like it, it's too dark, I just get it out of here. The something I experience sometimes, I call it like stroke confidence or lack thereof. Um, the second something isn't progressing just the right way, it's ruined, it's terrible, the painting will drag on and on. It'll turn out if I stick with it long enough and I don't commonly give up. I'm sure to get lucky eventually. But oh my god, can it be a slow delivery. I just toss it into the pile of poor planning. There are objects that I have never painted before I have no issues with. And they are some of the most fun pieces to work with. I had fun breaking... Breaking away from the mold and... And I have some type of success. And then this just fuels this monster and... It just changes the entire outlook on the painting with this confidence. My brush strokes only need to happen once and there's like no mistakes. Again, this was not one of those paintings. But if I'm painting something new, I've never attempted it. So I plan it out, I plot it out, I deconstruct it down to the gritty layers. I know starting out there, there isn't really an existence of confidence. It's always like this casual, we will see, whimsy. But those are the paintings I enjoy the most. I've painted cave settings before. I've painted opal-like scenes before. But I got comfortable and I had no plan because I wasn't reaching to go beyond when I really should have. I didn't deconstruct it in my head. I deal with this time to time as I sit here with another painting on my desk I'm uh, having the same issue with. But it's slowly starting to turn around now. I just decided to like pull the fog up. Like something stupid like that. But they tend to drag on and it quickly turns from an hour of painting for something I deem simple into like three hours because I have to go back and repaint and try to figure out new colors. It's not always colors, but for me, it mostly is. I just don't always think about the palette choice because I can start with like the most simplest of sketch and do whatever. But if I don't actually think about color, it could end up going really bad really fast. Sometimes there might not actually be an issue with what I'm doing to anyone else. It's just me and whatever mood I felt like in this painting or atmosphere and there's just like too much saturation, 
something is wrong, gotta burn it all. And it's just kinda in my head, but it isn't because, you know, if peace was right, it would be right. But it ends up so wrong. The only thing I can really do at this point is just persevere, maybe change up what I'm doing a little bit, go at it at a different angle. And there is nothing wrong with having to scrap what might have been a beautiful underpainting and just go at it in a whole different route. I have found music for me helps me kind of zone out really well in those initial stages, especially when I did some pre-planning. Since I had like a rough idea what I was doing, I just kind of roll with it subconsciously with this like faux kind of confidence um, until I have that first taste of success and then it just seems to be all candy. Anyways, I just had some thoughts, so I will leave this at that. Thanks for watching. Feel free to follow me on Instagram where I post daily. You can also find me on Patreon for monthly mystery packs and digital coloring pages. And as always, you can find a menagerie of prints, paintings, pins, stickers, and more. Featuring my art, even an oracle deck, at 
lowbrowmisfits.com. Well, bye.